Okay, so this is my last day of painting, and I think I actually figured out the trick to the Lowe's uh, Valsper glitter paint and really how to get the best effect out of it with the, the kind of paint that you're using. So really the trick to get the best glitter effect, as you can see here, the paint is still wet, but um, the trick really is the thickness of the paint. So the thinner the paint, basically, the better the glitter is going to show through. Uh, this is a Benjamin Moore paint, and most of you know that Benjamin Moore it has a really nice thick consistency similar to cake batter, but I've noticed with thicker paint like uh, Bare as well that when you add glitter straight to the thick paint, you're not going to get the same effect of glitter as you do with, let's say, the Gideon because that one's much more liquidy, and I've noticed a difference in the sparkle uh, as a result. So what I did with this Benjamin Moore paint is I thinned it out using some latex conditioner that I brought from uh, Walmart and just thinned it out enough to not get any drips so the roller can hold it efficiently and basically I just did this about maybe a minute ago. So normally you're able to see the sparkle when the paint dries if the paint is thicker but with this you see it immediately so I'm sure even when it dries the effect will be even more stunning. Now I'm going to take you over to my drop ceiling that I added glitter to and I was using a um, bare ceiling paint with this one and you still see you know the sparkle effect but it's much more subtle but for me I really wanted it to pop so I think what I'm going to do is I have some extra ceiling paint I'm going to thin it out a little and I'm going to reapply it just so I can get that a better effect a more glitzy effect because I do love my bling so uh, I guess that's it I'll be writing up a blog post about this because definitely learned a lot painting this basement. Alright, bye bye.